Hi, welcome to Transcode. Today we'll be talking about loops. We'll be talking about loops. We'll be talking about loops. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Loops. What's going on here? Loops. Loops. Oh. 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 Ah! My leg! <laughs> Do you know why I threw my clapper at you? Uh, uh, um, oh, uh, Answer me! Cause, cause button? So you do know! Uh, uh, yes. Do you want to keep your job? Uh, yes. Am I pretty? What? What? Listen to me. Listen to me. Are you going to stop this? Y yes. Are you? Yes. Good. Good. Action! Hi, welcome to Transcode. Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. What you just saw there is what happens when you run into an infinite loop. But what even is a loop? Loops are tools that allow a program to repeat pieces of code multiple times. Sort of like when you're listening to your favorite song on repeat. It's on a loop. There are a couple different types of loops in programming. But in this video, we'll be focusing on while and do while loops. So let's get into it. Like we said, all loops just repeat pieces of code. So with a while loop, it will first check to see if its condition is true. And while that condition is true, it will repeat the code until it's not true. Now let's see how we go about writing a while loop. <clears throat> Although while loops are universally the same in most modern languages, it's important to check the language you're using to make sure it has the correct syntax. For this case, we'll be using the language Java. A while loop is initiated by writing while, followed by the condition you want satisfied to continue the loop. You can think of this condition like an if statement. If this condition is true, then it will execute some code. And since this is a while loop, it will repeat the code. If you need a refresher on how if statements work, be sure to check out our video here. Once it gets to the bottom of your loop, the program will go back up to your condition, check if it's true, and continue through the same process until the condition is no longer satisfied. You can think of a while loop like your favorite carnival ride. While loops check your condition before entering the loop, just like how the ticket booth checks to see if you have any tickets before entering the ride. So, do we have more than zero tickets? We do! In fact, we have three. So, we lose one ticket and give it to the ticket man. Now, we can go on the ride. Or in general, execute the code. And we can continuously ride the ride until we run out of tickets. Once we run out of them, our condition will fail, so we will exit the loop. In this case, you'll get booted off the ride. <gasps> and make sure you have something in your loop that will update your condition, or else you'll be stuck in an infinite loop. <laughs> Do while loops act the same exact way, however, instead of checking for a condition before they run the code, They'll run the code first, and then check the condition to see if the loop should run any more times. Well, what's the point of that? Well, Kevin, let's say you always want to run this code at least once. With the while loop, if your condition isn't met, you wouldn't be able to run this code at all. But with a do while, your program is guaranteed to run the loop's code at least once. And if it doesn't meet the condition, you'll just continue on with the rest of your program. Uh, well... My, my brain too squishy. Can, can I see an example? Sure. Let's go back to our carnival example. Now, you get one free ride on the Ferris wheel. And after that, then you need to start having tickets to keep riding the ride. Oh, I see now. See, Kevin? Your brain isn't that squishy. Hi. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you've learned something, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We really appreciate all of the love and support, and we hope to see you in the next video. Say bye, Kevin. Bye.